Lechin TIs pledge to form an open government. Will the new premier be non-DPP? Introduction. Welcome to Capture the Intelligence. In today's analysis, we explore the recent statement made by Lai Ching Ti outlining his commitment to establishing an open government that prioritizes talent over party affiliations. The primary focus of our discussion is on the potential appointment of a non-democratic, progressive party, DPP, member as the new premier and the implications of including individuals from other parties in key government positions. Greetings viewers! In this episode, we delve into the dynamics of Lai Ching Ti's proposed open government. Our inquiry centers around the likelihood of the new premier being someone from outside. The DPP and the potential involvement of Kuomintang, KMT, or People First Party, PFP, members in critical roles within the envisioned government. Analysis The concept of prioritizing talent over party lines is not entirely unprecedented in Taiwanese politics. Both the Tsai Ing-wen and Chen Shui beyond administrations have experimented with such approaches albeit with varying degrees of success. While the idea seems commendable, the effectiveness of implementing this strategy remains a subject of scrutiny. Historical context Examining historical instances, we observe that previous attempts to appoint individuals from opposition parties to significant positions have posed challenges. Despite initial intentions to foster cooperation, conflicts of interest arising from strong party affiliations have hindered the seamless execution of governmental objectives, challenges, and risks. The central question revolves around the feasibility of appointing a non-DPP member as the new premier. The potential inclusion of individuals from KMT or PFP in influential government roles raises concerns about their party loyalty influencing decision-making and policy implementation. This dynamic poses inherent risks to the efficiency and success of governance. Practical Considerations While Lai Ching Ti's aspiration for an open government is laudable, practical challenges in its implementation cannot be overlooked. The choice of individuals for key positions must align not only with their talent but also with the overarching goals and vision of the ruling party. Failure to achieve this alignment may result in internal conflicts and hinder the administration's effectiveness. Political Responsibility The issue extends to the realm of political responsibility. If Lai Ching Ti encounters challenges in aligning appointed officials with the ruling party's vision, the perception of his administration's effectiveness may be at risk. Striking a balance between talent and party alignment is imperative to avoid dissatisfaction among the public and ensure smooth governance. Insights from experience Drawing from experiences in the public sector, instances of appointing individuals from opposition, parties have been observed. Despite their talents, lingering party loyalties have occasionally led to sentiments of being remnants of previous administrations. This underscores the importance of careful consideration in making key appointments. In conclusion, while the concept of an open government is appealing, the practicalities of its implementation demand careful navigation. Lai Ching Ti must weigh the potential benefits of diverse talent against the risks of party conflicts in key government roles. As we await further developments, capture the intelligence remains committed to keeping you informed. Thank you for joining us in this analysis. If you found this video informative, please like, 
share and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on Taiwanese politics and current affairs. Stay tuned for more insightful content on Capture the Intelligence.